Hello and welcome to the Formula Racing League. We are here tonight for the fourth round of the 100% Racing Series here at Zandvoort in the Netherlands. Tom Cairns, your commentator for tonight's show -in. We currently have 19 drivers registered for tonight's event. Qualifying was done yesterday. Let's take a look on a rundown of what exactly happened. Well, in Q1, it saw Mage and Kian Green crash out, so they were eliminated as everybody else made it through and used that session as some form of practice due to the low numbers. The fastest in Q1 was Orange and Gamma. The biggest shock of Q2 was the elimination of Big Balls Bells, one of the championship contenders who crashed out on his outlap on the soft tyres. He had already set a 1 minute 9.9 .9 on the medium compound, which ironically would have been fast enough for P4 had he not crashed out. Dixon was fastest in Q2 with a 1 minute 9.3 which was 0.042 seconds ahead of Orange and Gamma. The others that were eliminated from Q2 were King of the Hills, Han and Mean Man Moody. And on to Q3, there was a great battle at the front between Dixon, Gamma and Vamu for pole position. Dixon drew first blood and went provisional pole with a 1 minute 8.794, which Vamu and Gamma were unable to beat. The second run saw Vamu take provisional pole away with a 1 minute 8.7, only to be beaten by Dixon with a 1 minute 8.5. Gamma then split the pair with 1 minute 8.783, closest quality of the season, which was full of drama. Paskov, who had qualified P5 but was in the stewards, so but fell foul of the stewards for a Q2 incident where he retired on track with cars on laps behind. He was given a five place group penalty results, meaning that he will start P10. The top performer in quality was without a doubt uh, Vamu taking that. P3 and looks like a general threat to Dixon for the race win. So we're only just under 15 seconds away from the formation lap. Gives us plenty of time to run down on the championship standings. As soon as I can get it up. So Orange and Gamma at the moment, after three rounds, he has a 44-point lead over everyone else in the standings. He did miss uh, a race or two, did Dixon. I think he missed uh, the last two, so he's got a lot of ground to make up in the uh, in the title race. There are only nine races in this 100% series. And the point system in the 100% racing series is different to what it is in real life Formula 1. So just trying to find the race format. And the race format. So Big Boss Belts got 40 points for the race win last time out in Canada. Leclerc was uh, second with 32. Then it's uh, Liverpool Fan with 26 for third and 20 for fourth. Right all the way down to 15th place who get one point. And there is also two points, I believe, for the driver who sets the fastest lap of the race. But more on that later. So the top three starts on the mediums. Statistic King, Leppi, Eckhart and Big Boss Bells following suit. King of the Hills, likewise. The others are all starting on the soft compound. Now Dixon started on pole with Orange and Gamma alongside Newbell and Liverpool fan on row two. Then Statistic King and Lefty on row three, followed by Eckhart and Big Boss Bells on row four. Paskov and King of the Hills make up row five. And then we're going towards the rear of the field. Now Han ahead of Mima Moody. Then it's Maze ahead of Marcy. Melios in the McLaren alongside Williams in the Alfa Romeo. Leclerc and Safdar make up row 9 in the Ferrari and the Renault. Wild Dog completing the grid in the Haas. So everyone taking up their positions on the grid. And we're just waiting for those all important five red lights to come on. And when they go out, we'll be racing here for a 72 lap event here at Zandvoort. So the five red lights should be coming on now, which they do. When they go out, we're racing here in Sandvault. 
It's lights out and away we go. And Dixon gets off the line better than Dixon, although the Williams of New Vamu is alongside as they enter turn one and Vamu gets up into second place behind Dixon. So good start from him. Dixon stays in the lead for its uh, Vamu in second. Then it's the racing point of Orange Gamma in third place. Statistic King for the Bull Fan fifth. Eckhart's up to sixth at the moment. Now what you've seen on the leaderboard is not the correct race order. So we have to contend with what we've got for now. So by the time we get through sector one, we should have the updated uh, leaderboard. So Dixon going through sector one now. And we've got a spinner in sector two. It's one of the Ferraris is gone for a moment. It's Marcy in the Ferrari. Doesn't appear to be any damage on there. So he's got away with it. But Dixon's still in the lead. It's Vamu in second place ahead of Orange and Gamut. He's trying to make up for losing second at the start. But there's a long way to go yet in this race. And those starting on the mediums have quite some way to go before they do make any tyre changes. So they don't want to be taking too many risks too soon. The Wolf fan right behind Statistic King as they complete lap one with Dixon still in front. It's Orange Gamma in second place. He's just got past the Williams of Vamu. So Orange Gamma up into second place then. And we've got a spinner in, in set to one. It's King of the Hills. He's come together with Wild Dog. So King of the Hills, has he got damage to that Renault? Not on the right-hand side. Has he got any on the left-hand side? The answer is no. So both drivers are good to continue, but they've lost time and places. King of the Hills, who started inside the top ten, has found himself with a lot of work to do from here on in. So race order. Dixon ahead of Orange and Gamma with Vamu ahead of Statistic King, who... Is on the mediums. It's Liverpool fan who's the highest of those on the soft compounds with Eckhart, Leppi, Big Boss Bells, Paskov, and Milios running out the top 10. Statistic again going to the outside of Vamu as they uh, enter turn 11. Not able to go. Oh, and they come together and Vamu's off. Vamu into the barrier. Now, is that his race over? Or can he get going again? No, he's out. His race is over. So Vamu's race has only lasted two laps and that is his race over and we've got a safety car so Vamu who is running in third place before they come in together with Statistic King has binned it and he's out of the race and those start on the soft compound may want to consider going on a different strategy Paskov's doing just that it's a short pit lane here as well so you won't lose that much time in the pits. Pascal rejoining right at the back behind Wild Dog. But Vamu will not be scoring any points today following that contact with uh, Statistic King. And then Femi saying good luck, everybody. And YT Sinks going saying hi, excited for the testing tomorrow. That'll be for another league of which I'll be uh, doing some comms on. There's no racing as such because it's a testing platform for when F1 2021 is released for this particular league I'll be doing comms for. So Dixon leads behind the safety car with Orange Gamma second, Sister King now to third after his coming together with Vamu, I wonder if the stewards may want to have a look at that. Bubble fan and Eckhart, so the two Mercedes in fourth and fifth positions. Then it's the house of Leppi, followed by Big Balls Bells. Mielios, Leclerc and Williams inside the top ten. It's uncertain how long the safety car will stay out there for. Dixon in the Alpha Tari, doing everything he can, asking how I am today. I'm okay, thank you, um, Dixon. It's been a long day with all the action. 
Uh, and there's still a, a Formula 2 feature race and the Azerbaijan Grand Prix itself lined up tomorrow. If practice and qualifying were anything to go by, we're getting in for an interesting race in Baku. And plus, there's the unpredictable wind speeds coming in as well. Our forecast, which will make overtaking and breaking into corners a lot more tricky, especially when the cars are on full tanks of fuel. Now, how long will the safety car remain out there for? It may go around another lap if it chooses to. The lights seem to be off now. Yeah, the lights are off now on the safety car. So Dixon will take the opportunity to back the field up and he'll decide to go. And then he needs to wait for the safety car to duck into the pits first before he can go to racing speed. That may not be the last time the safety car does appear in this race. Dixon goes now. He gets a nice restart on the racing point of Orange and Gamut. And we've got a move here between the two Mercedes of Eckhart and Liverpool fan. Eckhart going to the inside, thought better of it, and tucks back in behind Liverpool fan. And King of the Hills is out. So King of the Hills, I'm not sure what's happened. Has he had a coming together with someone? Not 100% sure, but his race is done and dusted. Wild Dog coming into the pits. He's got front wing damage, so I wonder if he's had a coming together with King of the Hills. So that's the second retirement of the race so far. And there could well be more. Maybe less than half of the field finishing by the end of this one. And Dixon. Pulling the way on the restart so far. Doing a very nice job. We've got some battles going on behind his big boss bells. He's on the threat from the McLaren of Mielios, who's on the more grippy rubber at this point. Lepi closing on Eckhart, who made a mistake coming out of turn 10. Doesn't go for the move there, so he stays behind. And Lepi playing out of the set stream on the Mercedes and going through up into fifth place now. So the Haas getting past the Merck. And can Big Balls Bells follow suit? He needs to at this stage for the sake of the championship. Winner last time out in Canada. He's level on points with Dixon in second place. In the points battle. Through turn 9 and 10 they go. Now is there going to be a change of position at this point? Now we're considering it is. I think we've only done two laps of the restart so far. So DNS is not enabled yet. Noble fan looking to get the job done on Statistic King. Is he going to wait for the DRS to be enabled before he chooses to make his move. Safdar now ahead of Williams into 10th place as Big Boss Bells go side by side with Eckhart on the exit of Tarzan and that puts his Alfa Romeo up into 6th position and Eckhart get a nudge from behind by Melios and that's costing momentum. And Leclerc and Safdar go past him so Eckhart's going backwards on this lap. He was in 6th place at the beginning of that and now he's down to 10th place. Remember it's the top 15 who score points in the 100% racing series. Dixon is on course for 40 points. Big Boss Bell's now ahead of Lepi going up into 5th place. 
So doing a fine job on the restart is Big Boss Bells. Now, Liverpool fan all over the back of Statistic King is probably going to be too far back to have a go into Tarzan. Coming out of the Ari Lion Dyke corners and onto the start finish straight now. And stays behind for the time being at least. Dixon still continuing to pull out a margin. The Liverpool fan will be fancying his chance with Statistic King very, very soon. Now Statistic King has had quite, quite a, uh, a rough start to the season so far. Mr. King finished fifth in um, in Monza at the opening round of the season. Then in Japan, he didn't finish. And Master Mount in Montreal, he didn't finish either. So, Statistic King is in need of some recompense for his non-finishes recently. Could he be going for a podium finish today here in Sanford? We'll wait and see. Here's Williams all over the back of uh, Eckhart as they go side by side. Williams nearly pushed into the pit wall there by Marcy. But he's got the job done and 11th place goes to the owner of the Formula Racing League. The Wolf fan all over the back of Statistic King now in the battle for third position. Sister King using all the curb to try and keep his rebel in front. He is losing ground now over uh, Orange and Gamut, who's two and a half seconds adrift of Dixon, who is leading. Now Liverpool fan will need to watch his mirrors because uh, Big Balls Bells is closing in on these two. Liverpool fan nearly going for it, but that lunge that was never going to uh, work has allowed Big Balls Bells to close right up on the gearbox of the Mercedes. Coming out of the last two turns, there is the banking which will be used when Form 1 does finally race there in September. But Big Balls Bells goes to the inside on the Mercedes of the Volfan into Tarzan and fourth place goes to the Alfa Romeo driver. So Big Balls Bells on a mission in the Dutch Grand Prix. Remember, Big Boss Bell started eighth on the grid. And he's slowly but surely fighting his way through the field. It's a very short lap here, he's done for. We're now already on lap 10. In terms of the pit window, you probably expect those who have started on the soft compound to pit in around about lap 23 to 24. Six, something like that. Mars is the first driver to be given a time penalty. That's three seconds. That'll go to his time at the end of the race. Considering we've got a long way to go yet, you don't, you don't want to be picking up penalties between now and the end of the race. Dixon's margin over Gamma, 2.6 seconds. Big Boss Bells right behind, statisticking for third position. Paskov comes into the pits for McLaren. Has he picked up damage, I wonder? Yes, he's got front wing damage, so that's why he's called into the pits. Me Man Moody's run wide as well. As he had a moment, he must have front wing damage actually as well. Yes, he has. So, oh, oh no, no, that's not good there. That's not good for Me Man Moody. Did he do that on purpose? I'm not 100% sure. But it's brought out a safety car, I think, or a virtual safety car. So me, my Moody's race is done. Third driver to retire from this race now. And we've got a virtual safety car. Now, those who are leading the race 
probably won't gain any time if they decide to pit now. Dixon's only just coming up to the penultimate corner, and I doubt he'll go into the pits. No, we're back on the way now, so Dixon continuing to lead ahead of Gamma and Statistic King. Then we've got Big Boss Bells in fourth position, looking to get past the Red Bull. Rear wing open, alongside, and he'll get the job done before turn one. So Big Boss Bells up into the podium places and can go after Orange and Gamma and Dixon. So here's Leppy in sixth position, doing a fine job so far in the Haas car. So far this season, he's picked up 28 points. Sixth place at Monza. Followed by a non-finish in Japan. Well, he may have not taken part in Japan, actually. Last time out in Canada, he finished up oh, eight. Did the Hungarian driver. Elio's in 7th position. We've got Pascal trying to get past Han for 13th position, which he does. Han goes out wide onto the grass, and now she's going to be under threat from the other Red Bull of Mage. Now Han, one of the reserve drivers being called in for tonight. Softar likewise in the Renault. Here's Liverpool fan in fifth position behind Statistic King. Still not able to get past as his tyres will be beginning to fall away, whilst those on the mediums will be very much coming into their own window. Here's Mielios on the soft compound. Probably picked up a warning by going over the curves like that. Track limits. He's getting on with the job. Can he make a lunge down the inside of Lepi as they go? into Tarzan? The answer is no. Soft art. Thinking about a move, but doesn't quite go for it there. And so he sits behind the McLaren. There's Han in 15th position. We've got a five-way battle for fourth position. Statistic King lead in the queue ahead of Liverpool fan Lepi, Mielios and Safdar. Liverpool fan is the highest of those on the soft compound in fifth. Now with him being stopped behind Statistic King, will he decide to blink first and come in for a pit stop? DRS is now enabled on the Mercedes. Statistic King won't have that luxury, so Liverpool fan has a chance to use that to his advantage and close in. Isn't close enough to have a go and sits behind him once again. We've got a, a change for position as Williams goes down the inside. Oh, he, he did and spins it as he went over the curbs. And Williams is going to drop down another position, I think. No, he'll keep hold of 11th place. Got away with it without damage there, did um, Alpha, the Alfa Romeo driver. And Safdar now ahead of Mielios. Has, Mielios has gone for a spin, in fact. So that's him down a few places. So Mielios pushing too hard. 
at turn seven. And can't wait without damage as well. Noble found right behind Statistic King in the battle for fourth place. Is he close enough this time to have a go? He's using a lot of his ERS down the start finish straight. DRS open, I think. This is going to be a change of position as one of the Renaults is coming to the pits. It's Safdart. Now Safdart attempting to complete the undercut. And out he goes. There's a Ferrari coming down the pit lane. That'll be Marcy. I think Safdar's going to rejoin behind him, I think. And Liverpool fan now finally ahead of Statistic King. And up to fourth place he goes. Leppy will be waiting to pounce to get the job done also on the Red Bull. So the gap between Dixon and Orange and Gamma has increased to three point. No, oh, we've got a spinner. Is that Williams has gone around for a spin? It is. So Williams spun round in the Williams. So not in the Williams, in the um, Alfa Romeo. And he's got damage to his front wing as well. So that'll be him heading back into the pits for a new nose section. And he's Leppy in sixth position behind Statistic King. As they go on to the start finish straight now, Leppy's got a load of ERS he could use to get the job done on the Red Bull. And he's done it before the corner. So very well done there to Lepi. He gets his Haas up into fifth place now. And Safdar getting past Marcy. To the outside he goes. And that's 11th place going back to the Venice. So that's the out of sync Ferrari out of the way. Safdar's got nine seconds to make up on Melio. So he can use these laps to complete an undercut on those who he's battling with. As Williams comes back into the pits, he's going to go onto a set of soft compound tyres. He'll rejoin ahead of Wild Dog, I should think. So Williams rejoins in 15th ahead of the Hass of Wild Dog. Dixon almost coming up to lap them now. They're now on lap 18. We're at the quarter way mark of this Dutch Grand Prix. And he's Leppy in fifth position. He's going to be all over the back of Liverpool Fan very, very shortly as Liverpool Fan's tyres will begin to fall away. And someone else has gone. Oh, and it's Safdar. Safdar's had a moment at the last turn of the circuit. And he's in the, back in the pits for a new nose section. Medium tyres going on to the Renner again, so his chances of a top five finish are well and truly gone now. Unless we get a safety car, of course. So Safdar rejoins in 13th behind Mage. Dixon, nearly five seconds in front of Gamut. Big Boss Bells in third place. There's Leppy. Making a mistake coming out of turn 12 there and had some horrible understeer there. I don't know if he's. He hasn't got damage to his car at the moment. And Eckhart now has got a time penalty of three seconds for exceeding track limits too many times. Getting the job done on Mielios though. To the inside he goes. Oh, he lost it as he went over the kerb and has to give the position to Mielios as a result of it. So Eckhart. And DRS is now enabled again. I'm not sure what that is all about.
This is the closest battle we've got at the moment between Liverpool Fan and Leppy. Leppy on the mediums to Liverpool Fan, whose tyres are beginning to draw. We've got an instant set to one. Is that Williams has gone for a spin? Yes, it is. He's spun and damaged his front wing again. And Wild Dog will go past him very, very shortly. It's just been lucky, actually, as uh, Wild Dog and Williams now by the race leader. And Luffy still behind Liverpool fan. As they exit turn three. And through four, five and six they go. Now Williams has had a really horrible race again. Will he decide to come in at the end of this lap and retire? Or will he decide to keep on going? He knows he's a lap behind the leader. There is a long way to go yet in this race. Now hand pulls to the side and lets the leader through. Lepi. It's got loads of ERS remaining in comparison to Liverpool fan. Now we've got Lepi all over the back of Liverpool fan as Safdar gets past Maze for 12th position. Safdar so making up for lost time after that mistake he had early on. Nuppy now closing in on Liverpool fan ahead. Are we going to see a change of position? Very, very soon. We could well see Liverpool fan in the pitch shortly. Now on lap 22, we're out of 72 here in Zandvoort. Well, Dog now gets in ahead of the Williams of Ham for 14th position. And Williams did rejoin the race on the hard tyres. All the way down in 16th place. And Leppy nearly getting the job done there on the Mercedes, but wasn't able to uh, complete the job. Milio is coming into the pits now for McLaren to go onto a set of the mediums. And out he goes. So Ferrari coming down. It's Marcy. I think Melios is going to go out ahead of him. No, Marcy gets in front. So Melios will to try and pass him on track. He is in a battle with Eckholtz for 8th position. He still can't find a way past the Mercedes a Liverpool fan. He must be thinking about pitting in soon. Right on board with the Haas now. Since it turns 13 and 14. And Liverpool fan ducks into the pits. Another set of the soft tyres going on the Mercedes, so he'll have to pit in again before the end of this race. He'll rejoin in eight ahead of Marcy. He's got some clear track ahead of him now, has Liverpool fans, so he's got an opportunity to complete an undercut on Lepi. Who goes up to fourth place. Mays now coming into the pits for Red Bull. I should rejoin behind race leader Dixon who comes up to lap him. Over the line he goes.
And Han coming into the pits from 15th position. So you'll be going on to another set of softs. Williams coming around the last corner, but I think Han's going to get in front here. Or come out in front. She needs to turn the, uh, the limiter off, does uh, Han. Turn the limiter off, Han. There you go, yeah. So she's turned it off now, but she waited far too long. She could have got out ahead of uh, Williams there had she got the limiter off when she crossed that line. She's been much there by Liverpool fan. Yeah, just joined us. Do feel free to get involved in the conversation. We are willing to answer your questions as the race goes on. And I think someone else has had a, uh, a moment somewhere. It may have been the... I don't know whether it was a Red Bull that had a moment or someone else. Three drivers out of the race so far. Me, Man Moody crashed out as he tried to enter the pit lane. King of the Hills uh, retired on the restart, the safety car restart is. And Vamu's retirement on that two was what caused the safety car to be deployed. 16 drivers still running. Dixon's lead now six and a half seconds as we are past the third way mark of this Dutch Grand Prix now. I'll see coming into the pits for Ferrari. Medium tyres going on. It'll rejoin well ahead of Mazed. And with some clear track ahead of him. So Dixon. Been on the medium since the start. Finding some very, very good pace. Arjun Gamet in second. Well, Bells is lap time. Two turns off from his previous best so far in this one. Little fan flying on the, uh, the soft compounds. DRS now open. 113 0. He's got the Alvaro Mayor of Williams in his way, who needs to move out of the way very, very shortly. Soft Art in 11th, behind the McLaren of Puskov. And Maze is out. Maze has crashed out somewhere. Not sure how he's managed to do that. Oh, he's lost it on the exit of um, turn 12, I believe. Yes, he has. He's binned it in the barrier. And we have our second safety car of this Dutch Grand Prix. Now, the timing of it, I've seen Dixon already go past the pit lane. But Orange and Gamut and Big Boss Bells are taking the opportunity to make a stop as is Leppy. The Sister King also in. Now Dixon will be thinking, I've got to pit in at the end of this lap. And they won't want to be going too fast. Now the Clurs in the pits started on the soft tyres, so he's on the hards now. Cots also in. Sister King rejoining behind Saf Dart. Or so he thought, he actually gets out in front of him. So we have our second safety car of the race. Maze becomes the fourth retirement of this Dutch Grand Prix as Dixon comes in. 
for his pit stop. Will he get out in front of Orange and Gamma? I think the answer is going to be yes. He had over seven seconds in hand on Orange and Gamma before the safety car was deployed. I think that's going to help him keep hold of the race lead here. Yep, easily. He's way out in front. So he continues to lead. But I can imagine he will be pitting again before the end of this race. There's no way he'll go to the end on those sort of softs that have done only about 24 laps mats for each driver who started on them. So Dixon has caught up to the safety car now. The safety car will be out for a couple of laps at least, which will allow the field to bunch right up. Now there are three drivers a lap down under the safety car conditions. They are Wild Dog, Williams and Han. There is Wild Dog who's just behind the racing point of, of Gamut. Coming through turn 12, they come. Oh, they come. Coming through turn 12, they do. Dixon getting very close to the safety car in front. So, a rundown on the calendar for the rest of the campaign. Next week, it will be the Azerbaijan Grand Prix for round five, then it's China, Singapore, Silverstone, and the season finale will be at the Rebel Ring on the 10th of July. Six days before the official release of F1 2021. The Formula Racing League isn't expected to be doing any competitive league racing from the release date, as they will want to give the drivers an opportunity to Practice and acclimatise to the cars. So the top 12 are on the lead lap. Dixon will be looking to pull away on the restart. Could be in for an interesting safety car restart here. You know, Dixon's lead of seven seconds virtually wiped out. The safety car is going to be coming in at the end of this lap. Wild Dog's picked up another three seconds uh, three seconds worth of time penalty now for exceeding chat limits. Lefty's got a time penalty of five seconds and I wonder what that's for. Might be for a collision under the safety car. The safety car is now in the pit lane. Dixon will decide to go. And he's gone now. So Dixon leads on the safety car restart. Gamma closing in behind. And we've got drivers docking. Oh, and there's debris everywhere. And there's, I think that was Peter and Alvaro Mayo bodywork uh, in there. And Lepi's in the pits for a change of front wing. So we want to go back to the action, though, because the position's changed left, right, and centre. We can see the Ferrari's going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's uh, Leclerc on the hard tyres. Dropping back it and seeing his teammate Marcy go down the inside of the Mercedes of Eckhart to put himself up into what is now 7th position as they come out of turn 6. And there's one of the Haas drivers moving out of the way. That'll be Wild Dog, who's a lap down. With Hun right behind him. Williams exits the pit lane in 15th... Well, I say exits the pit lane. 
He's now ahead of uh, Pascoff, who's down to 11th position, and Lepi in 12th. But Dixon continuing to lead. And Leclerc all, uh, under pressure from the McLaren, uh, Renault of Safdar. Now, did he move across on him, which forced Safdar onto the grass? Not 100% sure yet. Eckhart goes to the inside, or runs wide at, at turn 11. Leclerc makes contact. Softer goes to the outside. And onto the pit straight now they go. And the Mercedes of Eckhart comes into the pits. Presumably they need to get a, news, uh, a new nose section fitted on. Maybe to serve a penalty actually. Paskov now in the pits for McLaren. Some of these drivers have had a nightmare of a restart. But there's still some way to go yet in this. Dixon out in front still. Marcy flying now on these mediums. He has got that time penalty, remember, of three seconds, but... He'll be maximising his chances of possibly getting a podium out of this. The leaders, or the top four, will be pitting in again before the end of this race. There's no doubt about that. Soft Art in ninth place behind the Ferrari. Oh, he caught the kerb and nearly lost it. And this is crucial ground. And he'll stay in ninth place for now. Marcy getting past the Red Bull of Statistic King to go up into sixth place. He has to really, really fight for this, and he does get past. Statistic King has been on the mediums since the start of the race. Mielios keeping calm in fifth position. One point nine seconds or two seconds now between Dixon and Gamut. Statistic King all over the back of the Ferrari of Marcy. DRS now enabled. Statistic King will be looking to use that to good effect. Safdar so now getting a five second time penalty for a collision with Paskov. That must have been under the safety car conditions. Now Statistic King will be determined to try and get back in front of Marcy, but his tyres are well and truly past their best. But he's carrying on regardless. Marcy goes defensive. Statistic King to the outside. And Statistic King will have the better line and traction coming out of turn one. They're still side by side as they come through turns two and three. And Statistic King gets back through. Great race in between those two. Very, very clean as well. Softar now ahead of Leclerc for eight. And sets about going after these two who are still fighting away. Marcy, can he go to the inside? Ooh, we had to back out of it in the last moment there. So Marcy staying in seventh. Softar closing in all the time. There's the back marker of Wild Dog here who's ghosted. Wild Dog doing the best he can to try and get back on the lead lap. I think he's going to have to try and stay out for as long as he can on the soft compound before the leaders do choose to come in. There's Liverpool fan in fourth place doing a fine job. Marcy will be looking to get back through on the Red Bull Statistic King. To the inside he goes into Tarzan. And Marcy gets back into sixth position. Can Safdar follow suit and get ahead of the Red Bull? Got it. Oh, an instant set to one. Oh, it's Leclerc. Leclerc has spun in the right. Oh, he's reset the car back onto the track. That'll be a penalty going his way, I'm afraid. Not allowed to do that in the Formula Racing League at all. So Leclerc will have the book thrown at him later on. Lepi in 11th place, setting some Decent time so far on the hard compound. Now 
Going back to the battle for sixth position as Marseille is on the threat from Statistic King and Safdar. Statistic King waiting behind. Safdar waiting to pounce. He won't go for it at turn 13. But maybe able to get a good drive out of there to pull alongside Statistic King on the start finish straight. Which he does now. And World Dog's still pretty much hindering them, if I'm honest with you. Safdar goes to the inside into turn one. And goes up into seventh place ahead of the Red Bull now. I wonder if there's going to be some complaints about Wild Dogs driving, to be honest with you, because he should be moving out of the way of these guys, but yet he's still showing some genuine pace. We'll be going after Marcy now. Gap between Dixon and Gamma, just over two seconds. Big Boss Bell's looming in behind them as well. And we've got an incident. And the hand's gone for a spin now. And we've got our third safety car of the race. So the front wing left over debris from Hans shenanigans with the wall has deployed the safety car again. Now what will uh, Liverpool fan do? He's been on the soft tyres for 11 laps now. We'll make it 12. And it's going to be pitting. So Liverpool fan is taking the opportunity to pit in. Medium tyres going on. Got the Venner going down the start finish straight. He'll rejoin behind Safdar. Can get her in front of that back marker of uh, Wild Dog. The answer is no. Wild Dog doing the best he can to try and get back on the lead lap. Well, the leaders are caught up to the safety car now anyway. And Han, will she decide to carry on? I think she may as well. She is the last of the runners in 15th place, which would be enough to get her a championship point. Lepi also in for Haas. Now, will any of the leaders choose to pit him to go on to another set of soft tyres? I don't think any of them are, to be honest with you. Emilio is going up into fourth place now in the McLaren. There's the Sister King who pitted under the safety car to go on to a set of the hard tyres. But Liverpool fans got a good chance to win this race now, actually. Now he's on medium tyres. He's in the best window in comparison to the others. So now on lap 37, we are past the halfway mark of this race now. This is the third safety car of the race. Dixon leads ahead of Orange and Gamma. Big Boss Bells in third. Mielio's in fourth. And looking at further down the field, Softar's made up great ground from 18th to 5th. Leclerc from 17th to 7th. And Mielio's from 15th to 4th. Excellent drives from those drivers. So who's your money on for the race victory? Do let me know. In the Twitch, in the uh, Twitch stream, safety car staying out for another lap, at least.
And I'm looking at the time penalties for each driver. I mean, Suff does time penalties five seconds. So the next time he comes into the pits, he'll serve that five seconds. Unless he's going to the end of the race. Those, the rest who have got time penalties are all three seconds each. Dixon doesn't need to worry about time penalties at the moment. Still in command. Everyone has caught up to the safety car now, so the safety car should be coming in at the end of this lap. Just a reminder, it's 40 points for a race win, 32 for second, 26 for third. As it stands, as far as the championship is concerned, Dixon would move on to 40 points. So not 40 points, he would get 40 points from this race, put him on 81. Now the driver who's got the fastest lap, that would be Dixon as well. So Dixon would, I think would come away with two points for setting the fastest up of this. So 42 points will go his way, which will put him on 83 points. Orange again would get 32 points on this race which would take his total to 117. So the gap at the top would come down by 10 points. Big Boss Bells in third place would go on to 67. So the lights are out on the safety car now. So Dixon, like he has done twice before in this Dutch Grand Prix, will slow the field down. He'll decide to go. He'll probably do what, he's do what he has done before. And pull clear at the banking the last turn before the pit straight. So the safety car will be going in right now. It's in the pit lane. So Dixon decides to go away or he catches the grass as he came through oh he's hit the wall as well and that's surely going to allow orange and gamma an opportunity to get by on the restart stays behind him for now we've got a tussle for fourth place between milios and Safdar, and a three-year battle between a red bull mclaren and the mercedes that's statisticking ahead of paskov who gets in front of ecott so ecott not having a good restart so far but he's back down the outside of the McLaren and what a move it was from the Mercedes that was very brave of him because he could have caught the wall as he entered turn three but he's through there now and it looks like the pass of left he's getting by catches the curb as he goes through but it's neat and tidy the Ferraris getting by the Alfa Romeo of Williams who's a lap down on these guys Fan in sixth position on the medium compound. We'll be fancy a look. Rear wing open on, well, no rear wing opening yet. As the safety car restarts, so the DRS is disabled for the first two laps of the restart. There is Pascal in 12th place now. The Ferraris fighting over 7th place. There's Liverpool fans still closing in on Safdar and Mielios. Safdar in fifth position behind Melios now. Safdar on mediums that are four laps older than Melios's. Safdar is determined to get in front. 
We've got a... Tom is going to say change of position, but it's World Dog who's mapping himself on the Red Bull of Statistic King. And the Ferrari's going side by side as they enter turn two. Oh, they touch! Oh, that's going to see them in the barrier, I think. Oh, they both touch the barrier. And Leclerc has got front wing damage. What about his teammate? His teammate's got away with it. But Leclerc will need to come back into the pits for a new front wing. So costly there at this stage of the race now. We've only just done a safety car restart. So Leclerc will fall to the back of the field and going into the gravel. And he's got to be careful not to reset back onto the track. He's already done it once already, has Leclerc. So yeah, not very good there for the Ferrari driver. I suppose the consolation for him is that the next driver behind him in terms of position is Williams, who's a lap down on the leaders. So they're coming round now as Safdart will use the DRS to get in front on the McLaren. Gets into the slipstream. Oh, he, did Milio pull out too late there on the Renault? It looks like he did. So luckily it didn't end in tears as Statistic King goes to the outside of Marcy for 7th place now. And oh, Eckhart's in the wall. Eckhart's in the wall in the Mercedes. Now, is that going to trigger a virtual safety car? And the Leclerc's in the pits now for Ferrari and he's out of the race. He calls it a day. That collision with his teammate was one hit too many. So Softar using the DRS on the back straight between turns 10 and 11. Taps in behind the McLaren again. And McLaren's retirement promotes it, uh, Williams, Wild Dog and Han up a position each. But Safdart is going to use the DRS now on the start finish straight to try and get in front of Mielios. Mielios has got to be clean with his defensive driving. Safdart going to the outside and that's fourth position going to the Renault now. So Safdart, once the leaders come in for their last stops, he's very much in play for the race win. Although he's going to be on tyres by the end of this race that I've done 54 laps. in the pits now for Mercedes. He's had a wretched race, to be honest with you. He rejoined in 11th. At least he can try and go for the fastest lap in case one of those ahead of him decides to drop out. Local fan determined to get in front of Mia Leos. But the only problem he's got is that with Mia Leos within one second of Safdar ahead, he's able to use the DRS as much as Liverpool fan does. Rear wing open. Liverpool fan can't get the job done. I suppose the good news for Liverpool fan is that Safdar and Mielios are carrying time penalties. Statisticking in eight behind Marcy. Mepi closing in behind. Mepi on the better tyres than the Red Bull. He needs to try and get past as soon as he can, really. Paskov's looming in behind. In 10th. Trying to get in front of Mielios. He uses the curbs. Pulls that alongside. Exiting the banking. And the fan will go up into fifth position now. Ahead of the McLaren. Lepi 
Ooh, and he was nearly put into the wall there by Statistic King. I wonder if Statistic King wasn't even aware of Lepi's presence. But he's got a pit lane speed in penalty. And Statistic King's out. And Statistic King has retired from the race. Eckhart's gone for a spin again in the Mercedes. But Statistic King is out of the race and decides that he has had enough. That won't trigger a safety car. So he's done the right thing by retiring the pits. So Leppy in 8th place now. Covenant in tears between Statistic King and uh, Leppy. Elios still within a second of Liverpool fan. It's likely he'll go to the end of the race on those. He wants to get back through on Liverpool fan, which he does so into Tarzan to the inside. They both touch wheels. Elios stays behind as they come into turn two and three. Lepi. In 8th uh, place now, closing in on Marcy. Lefty's on 9 laps. Uh, sorry, soft tyres have done 9 laps. Marcy's mediums have also done 9 laps. And I think the Mercedes of Eckhart's gone for another spin on the exit of turn 10. Big Balls Bells is within a second of Orange and Gamut as they exit turn 13. Big Balls Bells will use the DRS to his advantage and close in on the racing point. And won't be too long before Mielios gets onto the back of Liverpool Fan to have a go down the inside into Tarzan. Liverpool Fan moving around, trying to fend off the McLaren. Mielios goes to the outside. Can't quite make the move. Oh, they touch wheels again. The Liverpool fan just about staying in front of the McLaren this time. Leppi now ahead of Marcy. So Leppi having a good restart up into seventh place. But I'd imagine he'll need to pit in before the end of this race. Maybe wait for a safety car. Consider we've had three already. And Big Boss Bells now within half a second of Orange and Gamut, which sees him use the DRS on the back straight. The top three don't have time penalties to their names. Now, the rear wing will open on the Alfa Romeo. Elios going to the outside of Liverpool fan. Paskov in ninth place. The battle for second place rages on now between the racing point of Gamut and the Alfa Romeo of Big Balls Bells. Nip and tuck between these two. Now, how long will it be before they decide to pit in? Well, Dixon's on soft tyres have done a lap less than these two, so I'd imagine that either Gamma or Big Boss Bells will come in first out of the three. Big Boss Bells with DRS on the start finish straight. Will he go to the inside as they go into Tarzan? Big Boss Bells decides to slot back in. Melios thinking about a move on Liverpool fan. Stays behind him for the time being. Paskov's lining up a move though on Marcy for eight in the McLaren. Paskov 
Let's go. Uh, Marcy locks off into turn three behind the back marker of Wild Dog, who's in 12th place. Here's the buckle for second again. Big Boss Bells has got slightly more ERS in store that he can use to get in front of the racing point. But Orangey Gamut is also using his ERS to defend. Oh, and Big Boss Bells got out of shape coming out of... Oh, they're coming in together. So Orangey Gamut and Big Boss Bells are coming in together for their last starts. So Safdar will go through, Liverpool Fan and Melodios will go through. They both leave the pits now. They'll rejoin ahead of Leppy. So Gamma and Big Balls Bells will rejoin in fifth and sixth places. So what about Dixon? Surely he'll need to pit in at the end of this lap to cover off the racing point and the Alfa Romeo. He's got clear track ahead of him. There is a Mercedes that is coming through turn 13 now. And Dixon is in for his last stop. So this will hand the lead over to Oh, Safda, I was going to say Dixon nearly broke the pit lane speed limit, but got away with it. So Safda takes the lead of this Dutch Grand Prix. Dixon will rejoin. I think he will rejoin ahead of Liverpool fan. Yep, so Dixon rejoins in second place now. Crucially ahead of Orange and Gamma and Big Balls Bells. Well, Dog gets in ahead of Williams, who pits in for the last time. And Pascal going wide on the exit of Tarzan as he tries to get through on Marcy for eighth place. Pascal does not have a time penalty to his name, remember. Marcy's time penalty is six seconds. for pass on Mielios. I don't think there is a contest between these two as Gamma goes through and Melios comes into the pits for a final change of tyres. The McLaren crew go to work. Mielios will rejoin ahead of Marcy, I should think. But no, Marcy will get ahead of him. But he runs wide into Tarzan, does uh, Marcy. He gets in front of Mielios, but only just. I think Melios has picked up a... I think he picked up a penalty. Pascal's in the pits for a new nose. Now, Orange Gamma all over the back of Liverpool Fun. For third place here. And the racing point, does he get the move done into? Oh, he got tucked in the side there by Liverpool fan. But Orangey Gamma is now through and up into uh, third place. Big Bells Bells will want to get by the Mercedes as soon as he can. Rear wing open. Goes to the inside. Does he do it into Tarzan? Runs Liverpool fan out wide. The Big Boss Bells, does he get through? Not yet. Liverpool fan trying to fight it out all he can, but Big Boss Bells has all the grip he needs to get in front of the Mercedes. So Big Boss Bells up into fourth place. Now we can go after Gamut. Here's Safdar. 
It's a shame with that penalty that he's got at the moment. To be fair, if he was to pit in before the end of this race, he can get that penalty out of the way. If he was to pit in now, he would rejoin behind uh, Lepi in sixth place. He's going to lose a lot of time now with a lot of those behind him on much fresher tyres. So Dixon all over the back of him will go past him into the lead. No contest whatsoever. Dixon back in front. Didn't take him long to do that after his last stop. Nelio's ahead of Marcy now for seventh place. Williams now 11th ahead of Wild Dog. Soft Art in second behind Dixon. Won't use the, uh, the DRS on this occasion. He's under five seconds ahead of Gamma, so he wouldn't keep hold of second place. Could maybe finish ahead of Liverpool fan if Saftar can keep his pace up but he's going to be on more worn tyres than Liverpool fan so I think Saftar may stretch his tyres out for another five or six laps before he comes in for his last stop so the fastest off at the race at the moment is Dixon's on a 1 minute 10.4. Big Balls Bell's now a second behind Gamma as he closes in. This is going to go right to the very end, isn't it? This could be good news for Safdar as well, because if Gamma and Big Balls Bell start fighting, that's going to allow Safdar to pull away from them, although Safdar's tyres are pretty much second hand. Does Safdar do? Does he decide to pit in? The answer is no. Big Balls Bells with DRS now behind Gamma in the battle of third. No change of position there. And so he waits behind as he exits Harson Corner. One minute 12.6 that Leppy posted that last lap. Mielio's 1 at 12.0. You can tell the pace difference between those two. Mielio's time penalty is three seconds like Lepi is, so he'll need to pass him on track if he's to get ahead of him by the end of this race, which is probable because Lepi is on soft tyres that have done 19 laps. Mielio's is on soft tyres that have done only three. Big Boss Bells in fourth place behind Gamma. Waiting for an opportunity to get the job done. He wants to try and go after Dixon if he can for the race victory. Gamma will be thinking about the championship as well. Safdar deciding not to pit. And as incident sectors one and two, that's Wild Dog who's gone for a spin and he's damaged his front wing as well in the. Um, in the house. He's only just been in a few laps ago for a, a change of tyres. So that'll be him dropping behind Han in 13th. So Big Balls Bells looking to close in on Gamut. Set his best first sector time of the race so far. Play, oh, and someone's 
It's a wild dog who's spun again. And he's lost his front wing completely. Make sure you don't intentionally crash out, uh, wild dog. He comes into the pits. Now, will he call it a day? Or will he carry on and still get the points? For finishing in 13th position, maybe 12th if he can set a good enough pace to get back ahead of Hunt. between these two we're going to go right to the very end the gap between soft dart and gamma down to two seconds i think soft is going to try and go to the end of the race it's not going to be very easy for him to fend off gamma and big balls bells he may decide to just let them go because he knows he's not going to finish ahead of them Big Bells Bells in fourth place behind Gamut as they exit turn 12. And it'll be too long before they get onto the start finish straight. We've ran about the same amount of ERS they can use, but Big Bells Bells is going to pull into the sit stream of the racing point. Go, uh, goes around the outside into Tarzan. Gamut covers his line and keeps hold of the final podium spot. So through turns four, five, and six. Big Boss Bell's running wide on the outside. They won't want to be doing that too many times. You know, he wants to try and get past Orange and Gamma as soon as he can because he's coming up to the back of Safdar, and once he's within a second, he can start using his DRS, which takes the, the advantage away from Big Boss Bells. You know, Big Balls Bells needs to get right up to the gearbox of the racing point so he can get into the sit stream and have a go. Big Balls Bells' line is not the greatest, to be honest with you. And Safdar does finally pit him because he knows that he's not going to fend off that position. He waits to serve that five seconds. For a collision behind the safety car. We'll rejoin behind Liverpool fan. We'll rejoin behind Lepi and Mielios. We should get out in seventh place. But he'll be on much fresher tyres than those around him. So Dixon in the lead now by six seconds. Gamut and Big Boss Bells up to second and third places. But will it be in that order by the end of the Dutch Grand Prix? 13 laps remaining. Big Boss Bells half a second behind Gamut. We come through the banking now onto the pit straight. Rear wing open on Big Balls Bells' car. Can he go down the inside into turn one? The answer is no. Mielios will be looking to get the job done on Lepi, who's on much worn soft tyres at this stage. Soft tyres closing in behind them as well. So Mielios will want to try and get by Lepi as soon as he can, really, because. Safdar is going to be all over them like a rash. The battle for second place is going to go right to the very end, I would imagine. Now, how will this battle for fifth play out? Lepi and Mielios have time penalties. Safdar doesn't anymore now. So Safdar just needs to 
keep the car on the track as well dog gets past Han back up into 12th place Soft dog going to the inside of Mielio's. Oh, and Lepi spins. Oh, they nearly make contact. Oh, and Safdar just about gets through. And Mielio's surely a pit like damage from all that. And Safdar, oh, Safdar's hit the wall as well. Lepi got tapped round by the McLaren of uh, Mielio's, who surely has picked up damage from that. Yes, he has. So I think both of them may have to come into the pits to get front wing replacements. They, don't, they both do now. I have to say, Mielios was to blame for that incident because he was too far back to have a go on uh, Lepi. And he was letting Safdar through at the same time. So, Marcy will go ahead of those three up into fifth position. He's got a time plant to his name. That's three seconds, I think. No, it's six, actually. Mielios has also picked up another three seconds for exceeding track limits. Big Bob Bell's using his rear wing. Safdar determined to get in front of Lepi now. He'll be livid when he's only just pitted in for the soft, uh, the soft compound and a new front wing. Surely he has better pace than Lepi, given what we've seen from him so far. Now, Mielios has a time penalty of six seconds to Lepi's three. And Summonen has had a moment. Is that Han or is that Wild Dog has gone for a spin? It's Wild Dog who's had a moment. And Safdar's through now. Round the outside of Lepi on the start finish straight and into Tarzan. And Safdar goes up into seventh place in the Renault. Nice job from him. Melios is next up. I thought the second still happening. Nine laps remaining here in Zandvoort. Melios passes Marcy back up into fifth place. Safdar will follow suit very, very shortly. Moving open on the Renault. And he'll surely get by the Ferrari now into turn 11, does he? Not through there. Let's try and complete the switch back on the Ferrari probably on the start finish straight to be honest with you so he'll be side by side as they come through the banking oh they nearly came together those two but Safdar will be in the slipstream with DRS and it's going to be a change of position to see the Renault go up into P6 now so Safdar who's not carrying a time pass to his name is on course for fifth position now He probably won't have enough time to catch up to Liverpool fan. He'll give it a real, real good try. Big Boss Bells. DRS open. Can't get the move done on the racing point. Liverpool fan in the pits for Mercedes going onto a set of soft tyres. Probably going for the fastest lap, I would think. And someone else has had a spin. It's one of the Hasses who's had a moment. That's I think it's Leppy who's got away with it. And Wild Dog getting ahead of Han now for. 12th place. And someone's gone off onto the runner area. It's uh, Han in the Williams. 
probably trying to get out of the way of the leaders while she was at that, uh, while she was at it. Big Balls Bell still behind Orange and Gamma in the battle for second. Soft Art with the DRS now open. Takes advantage of the mistake from the Elios. Oh, but the McLaren's fighting back, so Soft Art's going to have to go to the outside. Rear wing open. Oh, they nearly came together as well, but I think Soft Art's done enough to get his Renault up into fifth place now. I don't think he's going to have enough time to get onto the rear of Liverpool fan. I know he's just pitted the Liverpool fan, but Softar won't have enough pace, I don't think, in the Renault to catch up to him. Six laps remaining. Big balls bells looking to get the job done in Orange and Gamma. How long will it be before he leaves it? Or how long will he leave it until he tries to have a go. He's got 34 seconds in hand on Liverpool fans, so if he has to come into the pits for a new front wing or something, he'll still come out ahead of the Mercedes. Lepi now behind the Ferrari goes to the inside at turn 10, and 7th place goes to the Haas. But the Ferrari's fighting back as they come through turn 11, so Lepi's got the upper hand and goes through. There's Williams there in 11th place, 36 seconds behind Eckhart. He's now a lap down on the leaders. Dixon taking it very easy at the front. On course for his second victory of the campaign to go with the one he picked up at Monza three weeks ago. And Big Boss Bells closing in on Orange and Gamma once more. But he's certainly not going to be close enough to have a go. Now Mielio's using DRS to close back in on soft dark. So Orange and Gamma and Big Boss Bells exit the last turn. Big Boss Bells now within the such stream, but the only problem he's got is, is that Orange and Gamma is using the DRS to defend as he was within a second of the bat marker ahead of him. And someone's gone off in sectors one and two. Is that the Williams of Han who's run wide again? I think it is. And calls for another finish. There's the Williams driver. Bells in third place still. So Orange Gamma looks to be for the second place. The only problem he's got now is that he won't have the benefit of the DRS because there's no one in front of him.
So three lots remaining. The top five do not have time penalties to their names. Melios has six seconds worth as Lepi has three. And Marcy has six. So Marcy's eighth place would be handed over to Paskov. Although having said that, Paskov has just been lapped by the race leader. So Marcy could keep hold of eighth place after all. Big Boss Bells. Can he finally get the job done on Gamma? Not quite into Tarzan. We'll have one more opportunity to get the job done there before the checkered flag. And someone else has spun. It's Wild Dog who's had a moment down at turn seven. But he's continued. Han is just a second behind him now in the closing stages of this Dutch Grand Prix. And Safdar's closing in on Liverpool fan. Although it's going to be too little too late for him to make any form of move on him. Big Boss Bells, oh he lost it coming out of turn 12 and that's going to compromise his speed as he exited. He'll still get DRS, but I think that may well be his last opportunity gone for Big Boss Bells. So if he's going to do it, he'll probably have to do it on the back straight into turn 11. We're now on the final lap here in Zandvoort. Dixon, it has to be said, has just been dominant. Even during the safety car periods, it just gets by the Williams of Hunt, who's been lapped. And there's a Ferrari ahead of him. He'll be moving out of the way very, very shortly. But Dixon has had a brilliant race. He's been absent in the last couple of rounds. But bounces back in contention in his quest for the championship. Gets by a couple of back markers on his way to victory here in Zandvoort. Dixon wins the Dutch Grand Prix. His second victory from four races. Excellent, excellent drive from him. Orange Gamma is going to hold on to second place ahead of Big Balls Bells. With Liverpool fan a long, long way behind in fourth position. 35 seconds off that battle. But he's got enough in hand over soft dart to keep hold of fourth position. Paskov up to eighth with Marcy's time penalty added. Eckhart will be tenth, Williams eleventh, Wild Dog and Han two laps down in twelfth and thirteenth. Lovell found four seconds in front of Safdar, more than enough for him to come home in a brilliant fourth position. Safdar from the back of the grid, eighteenth to fifth. Mielios, likewise, in sixth position with Lepi, the last of the cars on the lead lap to cross the line in seventh place. Beats victory for Dixon here at Zandvoort. The Sister King just came in saying, I think just needs to admin this endurance lead. Doing a night shift and then racing, this isn't working out. Had, has been gone all day and then I just don't feel pacey at all in the race. Stupid mistakes and Pickrow held me for no reason and also didn't change my tyres. It's a shame there, statistic, but hopefully you'll bounce back next time. So final classification of the Dutch Grand Prix. Dixon wins 
by nearly 10 seconds over Orange and Gamma in second place. Big Boss Bells third, Liverpool Fan fourth, Soft Art in a brilliant fifth from 18th on the grid. Melios sixth from 15th on the grid. Leppi seventh for Hasp ahead of Paskov. Marcy in ninth, Ecot tenth. Williams picked up the fastest lap but doesn't get the points for that. So no points for him for that. But he did pick up points for finishing 11th. Wild Dog 12th, Hand the last of the finishes in 13th. Statistic King out of the race. Leclerc, likewise, Mage also didn't finish. Me and my Moody crashed out. King of the Hills and Famu also did not finish the race. In regards to the championship, Dixon picks up 40 points, which takes his total to 81. With Orange and Gummers, second place that adds his total to 117. And Big Boss Bells in third, that takes his total to 67. So, Orange and Gummers uh, margin over Dixon in the championship is now, according to my calculations, it's 36 points going into the next round of the championship, which will be staged in Baku, Azerbaijan, on the 12th of June. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. And we can't wait to do it all over again in seven days' time. I'm Tom Cairns, and I'll speak to you again soon when the Formula Racing League returns. <laughs>